Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a solo hot tent overnighter in a very familiar location. However, I have not been here since last fall. So I did bring a canvas hot tent just like the last time, except this time I brought a solo tent instead of a very large tent. Now I still have to get my sleeping stuff set up inside. I brought my sleeping pad and I brought my down top quilt and a tiny little wood stove to keep me warm all night. It is forecast to get down to four degrees Celsius. Currently right now, it is a little windy, cloudy. There is rain in the forecast and it's floating at about 10 degrees Celsius. So who knows what the weather is gonna bring today. We will find out. I've got my cooking stuff all set up up here. I've got my backpack almost emptied out. Let's get the sleeping stuff set up inside of the tent and then start on firewood collection. Okay guys, tent is all set up. All the sleeping stuff is all set up. I've got my cooking stuff over here and my backpack. The only thing to do right now is A, make coffee and B, get firewood. The problem is I have to have firewood to make coffee because that's my only source of cooking or any method of cooking, I should say. Now, just off camera here, there is a nice neat stacked pile of firewood that has been cut from the last people that were here. The area is actually very nice and clean. So I was really shocked to see that someone was here to cut firewood and the area is nice and clean. So whoever came here did a very good job and thumbs up to you. Now I do have to collect some firewood for my wood stove because the firewood they left off camera is too long to fit inside of my stove. So I'm going to save that for the fire pit later on and probably do a little bit of cooking if the rain holds off. But I do need to gather some stove length pieces. So let's get to work and then start on coffee.
All right, so I'm just collecting some of these lower limb branches and a lot of the stuff is really wet in the area. It did rain heavy yesterday and last night. So I'm trying to get some twigs to light the stove. Uh, I don't want to get them off the ground because it's totally soaked, but even in the trees, they're bending quite a bit. The inner core is dry, but we'll see what we can scrounge up around here. There's sh certainly no shortage of firewood in this area. Everywhere around here is just nothing but dead pine and spruce. So I'm going to collect a bunch of these branches bring them inside of the tent and I'll even get a lot extra, <laughs> really bendy. I'll get a lot extra for in the morning too because this stuff will dry out overnight after burning uh, next to the wood stove inside of the tent. So all kinds of firewood, just gotta dry it out.
Okay, so afternoon coffee is all finished up and I'm just coming over to this pile of firewood that was cut and stacked and basically just left here. Um, there is this sort of rusted pan on top. Like I said guys, it did rain so pretty much everything here is wet but underneath of this pan there are a couple pieces that actually look somewhat dry on the ends. So that piece right there might be dry. It looks like this guy here might actually be dry. Maybe two or three of these pieces might actually be dry enough to consider good burning firewood to get the fire going. Of course this stuff will dry out once I put it next to the fire, but getting it going may be a challenge. So I do have a whole bunch of birch bark here as well. This stuff looks dry enough to actually burn. So I'm going to try and process some of this down and mix it in with some wood that I gather from the forest get it into the fire pit and get that fire going right now and get it down to coals because I'm going to need to start cooking supper very shortly. So let's get this sorted and get that outdoor fire going. All right, so the campfire is going. Hopefully this will take off nice and easy. It, uh, it is a little wet, so the wood that I split is nice and dry inside, but all these branches and everything else is wet, so it's probably gonna take about 15, 20 minutes to actually build up a coal base, enough that I can actually cook on and start drying out some of these round pieces and set them around the fire, and hopefully they'll burn without any issues later on. Uh, one thing I do wanna answer, because I know the comment section is gonna get flooded full of it, uh, how come I don't use an axe or a hatchet? The answer is simply I don't need one. So I use my knife for batoning everything and all of this right here, this took plus half of it's in the fire right now. This took about four or five minutes to baton two round logs the size of this. And my knife, I mean, it works. I've been beating the snot out of my knife for well over a year and it has no signs of weakness at all. It just performs. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, bring an axe, it's faster. Well. What are we in a rush for? I'm not in a hurry at all. I've got this entire place to myself all day, all night, no deadlines. I'm out here just relaxing and batoning wood is part of that relaxation for me. I like working with the wood, uh, cutting, splitting, you know, it's just part of camping, especially with cooking too. Cooking's part of camping. If everything was super fast and easy, there wouldn't any, be any reason to come out here. So for me, batoning wood is definitely the way. 
If I brought an ax, I would already be done with it and I would still have to carry it all the way in here and then all the way home. I'm already gonna be carrying my knife, so why, why make my pack weigh even heavier? It just doesn't make any sense for me. So, I'm gonna get some of this stuff on there, get it burning down. It looks like it's taking off really good, actually, throwing some good heat. So I'm gonna go get my grill put together and get that ready for cooking some supper. Okay, so the fire looks like it's doing really, really well, actually. It's thrown out a ton of heat. We're already burned down to coals, and I've already stacked some pieces of firewood here. This was wet. It's actually feeling pretty dry right now, so I think the fire's going to be okay for this evening. I'm just going to let that burn down a little bit more because right now it's too hot to cook. But I do have my grill totally assembled. I am going to be placing that over the coals shortly. And I brought two large round pieces of zucchini. And I also brought a backpacker's meal to go along with that. But I want to put my two slabs of zucchini on the grill over the fire with a little bit of spices. Grill those up nicely and kind of have like zucchini steaks, if you will. I know those two words don't belong together at all. But uh, I wanted to do this last camping trip. And the area that I was at, the, the fire pit, was just totally destroyed. And I'm getting smoke in my face right now. Uh... The fire pit was destroyed, so I wasn't able to do it. So this time I've got an area that's nice and clean, nice clean fire pit. So I'm going to take advantage of that and do some cooking over the fire with my grill. So let this burn down a little bit more. In the meantime, I might as well go get some food out of my backpack and get it prepped up. All right, so these are the massive pieces of zucchini that I brought. When I said big, I meant big. And these are not, well, I mean, it's not crazy heavy, but they're not exactly the lightest thing to hike around. So that'll be nice having that out of my backpack when I leave here tomorrow. But I do have two very large pieces of zucchini. I did bring my spice kit with me. I've got my fork, of course. I did bring another tortilla wrap and the whole bag. The bag I want to use as my garbage bag. Everything in my pockets, I want to dump in here, pack it out. So I do have one wrap inside of there. I then have my Wild Zora meal. So you guys know I've been enjoying Wild Zora for quite some time. That's going to be my main meal. And I believe that is it for tonight. Everything else is breakfast items and snacks for later on tonight. So I'm going to get this zipped up. You guys probably also noticed that the stove is not burning right now. I just damped it way down, snuffed it out on purpose. I don't want to cut more firewood if I don't have to. It looks like it is going to rain. It's getting very dark and I can almost feel a little bit of mist kind of coming through the trees and I could actually see some across the lake. So it might start raining. It might not. If it does, I want to keep everything inside of here nice and dry. I can shut the door. Some of this is already dried out. I can feel it's really nice and warm from being next to the wood stove. So I'm going to let that just be for now. And then later on, if I do have to relight it, I'll come in and relight it for the evening. But what I've got right now should be good enough for tonight and even tomorrow morning for cooking breakfast. So let's go prep up some supper and hopefully it'll be cooked up shortly and then I can enjoy it because I am starving.
All right, so I've got the zucchini cooking away over top of those coals right now. I'll run you guys through the spices that I put on it. Very, very simple. Just curry powder, garlic powder, and black peppercorn. I am going to have to season the other side when I do flip it when it comes time. And then once it's totally cooked, I'm going to add parsley flakes. So that is it for the zucchini. And then I do have my meal from Wild Zora Foods, my backpacker's meal in the bag that I'm going to get ready. I'm going to have to get my pot on the grill to bring the water up the temperature to boil because the wood stove, as you guys can see in the background, it is smoking, but there's no heat coming off that. I'm going to really try and reserve the firewood for later on when I'm in there and in the morning time. So this right here is going to be the cooking area for the day. And I should say the evening, actually, because it is getting dark rather quickly. And it's clouding over a lot. It looks like it's going to rain. So hopefully we, uh, we won't get wet while we're cooking over the fire here. But all in all, everything's going well. I am going to get my pot out here and get that ready to go. So once these are done, I can just pop it on there, cook away, and enjoy supper. All right, well, I've got one slab of zucchini pulled off the grill. It is totally cooked. I've got it set on a rock on top of my titanium lid to my cup because I don't have a plate or anything to work with here. So kind of working with what I've got. Flip this guy over again real quick. Let that cook a little bit more. I do have my pot on there, so that'll come to a boil. That is water out of the lake. I had to go down there, fill my water bottle, come back up. So that does have to come to a full boil. Let's give this zucchini a sample. It's not mushy, like I, I don't cook it so it's totally mush. So there is a little bit of firmness to it, but uh, basically kind of like pumpkin almost. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Garlic and the curry. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very good. And that curry's got a kick. That's got a kick to it. Oh yeah. That is really good. Really good guys. Mmm. Alright, well I got two giant slabs of that. Hopefully my water will come to a boil shortly. <coughs> the curry and the pepper's got a kick in my throat right now. Uh, hopefully that water comes to a boil quick and I'll be able to get that off get it into my uh, backpackers meal Get that mixed up and enjoy the rest of my supper. It is getting dark quickly guys I do got to say and um, it is raining across the lake. I can see some water drops hitting the water So who knows if it'll make it in the forest or not, but uh, this is good. This is really good Mmm
All right, so there is a little bit of a sunset across the lake right now. We got some beautiful golden light coming right through the trees, bouncing off the chimney and the side of the tent. All these trees are all lit up golden. It's pretty awesome. So I'm going to be heading inside of the tent very shortly. I was just walking over here and noticed the sunset, and uh, it's definitely getting dark. So it's going to be jumping inside of the tent very soon, but this golden light is definitely a surprise. I was not expecting any kind of light to come across that lake this evening. All right guys, well it is totally dark outside right now and I'm just getting inside of the tent. I am itching to get out of these clothes. The ground in this area is totally wet. So all day kneeling down in the ground, my knees are soaked, my butt's soaked from sitting on the ground and uh, I just really want to get changed. So I just want to give you guys this look inside of the tent, kind of bring you guys inside with me for a moment. And um, everything's looking really good. So the wood's dried out, the stove is cranking out some heat. I am going to make a soup, so i got to get my kettle back on the stove in a little bit. I want to make up a soup, and that'll be my bedtime snack, basically. Um, I do need to get changed, though. This is really bothering me. I'm wet, and I just, uh, usually it doesn't bother me, but today it's dry, it's hot with the stove, and then you kind of get that wet feeling. So I just, I want to get out of these clothes. I want to lay down, relax, and enjoy a movie, get the stove crackling a lot, get the whole tent lit up with all that golden glow coming out of the glass. And, uh, and then go off to bed. So I'm going to say goodnight to you guys, and I'll see you first thing in the morning for coffee and oatmeal. Good night, guys.
Good morning guys. It is a beautiful morning out here today in the fall. Nice crisp and cool morning, but a nice warm hot inner tent. So I do have a cup of coffee on the go right now. I also have some oatmeal on the go right now. And it's actually cold enough that I decided to bring my pot koozie, which is basically just a, a jacket for the pot to insulate it. That's actually working out really well. So it is just above freezing right now. It's three degrees Celsius on this lake. And there was mist rolling off the water early, early this morning. A couple loons out on the lake calling to each other. So that was pretty awesome to wake up to. And then the crackling fire on the stove. So this is definitely a treat to have on cold mornings where you are getting into frost and negative temperatures, hopefully soon, fingers crossed. Um, I do have a load of firewood left over. So I found last night, I actually did not burn a lot of firewood. I pulled my top quilt up and I was really, really warm. And at one point I actually woke up, I was sweating and I had to um, take my top quilt down just for a little bit. So that top quilt is extremely warm paired with my sleeping pad. I didn't need the stove at all. So early this morning I got up and I looked at the wood. <laughs> wow, I got a lot of firewood. And uh, it was just bone dry from being inside next to the stove yesterday and last night. Uh, but I am going to eat my breakfast right now and enjoy this forest. It is very nice and cloudy out right now. Those are my kind of days. You guys know I like that. I don't like sunny days. I'm much rather cloudy, darker kind of days. So I'm gonna chill out here. I've got this door open, that door open. I've got a great view of the forest hot oatmeal and hot coffee. Cheers guys.
right, well, here we are, backpack packed away. All my stakes are stacked on the rock exactly where I left them a year ago and exactly where I found them yesterday. So that was really awesome. The campfire behind me, if you guys can see, there's no smoke, totally snuffed out. Backpack is packed and ready to roll. So I thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching. I've got to get the camera packed away and get that on my shoulder as well. So if you guys have any questions or comments, always drop it down in the comment section. And until next time, peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.